a little bit of snow coming in this weekend. What's yeah. the timing of all of that? Uh, it looks like most of that snow. Um, yeah, a lot of folks have been asking about that. Most of the snow is going to arrive overnight tonight. So if you okay. are trying to travel, at least here locally, we're looking at it overnight. Now, if you're heading off to the west, you have to know that places like Indiana, Ohio will be seeing snow throughout the course of the day today. Okay. That system's going to be moving here, and that's what will give us our snow. Interesting enough as well, it does look like our accumulations are going to be largest right along I-70 in the turnpike and a little bit more than what we'll see along I-80. So a lot of times that, well, you know, a couple of times a year that'll happen as well. So some of our heavier totals at least will be uh, along I-70. So just note that if you are down in places like Washington, Greene County, you're likely to get a little bit more than the Pittsburgh area. It's 11 degrees now, winds out of the west at five miles an hour. So those winds are starting to pick up. It means we have a little bit of a wind chill out there. Butler at 10, Denora at 13, and Latrobe at 11. It's now starting to feel like, yeah, it is right there. Three degrees in Pittsburgh. We've been talking about that all morning long saying, hey, winds will start to pick up as the sun starts to come up and our feels like temperatures are going to start to go down. So once again, we'll bring in that feels like forecast three at seven. About one is what it's going to feel like at nine. And then we start to tick up again with our feels like temperature, but certainly fairly chilly outside. It's going to feel like about two degrees at 11 o'clock in the morning. And by one o'clock in the afternoon, we're looking at temperatures at about seven for a feels like temperature. So you're going to want to bundle up as you're heading out the door. High temperature expected today is 22. Don't forget, though, plenty of clouds around. The winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles an hour. That's going to make it feel at least uh, just as, uh, well, probably about as cold, if not as cold, as what we saw yesterday. Radar's not picking up anything, at least right now, but we did see some very light uh, uh, flurries rolling through in some communities. Uh, we'll watch closely for that, and some of our surface sites are reporting some light snow first thing this morning. Just off to the north, if you are heading to the Erie area, once again, a lake effect snow warning for Erie, and then the communities just south of there, they're looking at a winter storm watch. It'll turn over to a warning. Once again, they could be looking at double digit snow totals in some areas around the Erie area, and that's what the big concern is going to be there. You're also starting to see the advisories just off to the west. Told you about those. They are expecting their snow before the overnight hours. So here's what you can expect locally Friday. Low chance for some snow, and I don't think we'll really see any impact on roads, but as we're heading into Saturday, the heaviest snow is expected to fall early in the day. And as the sun comes up through about 12 or 1 o'clock, could have some dicey conditions on roadways. I do think that how the snow is expected to come in and fall, road crews should be able to stay ahead of most of those issues. Here's a quick look at 5 o'clock. You can see some of the heaviest of the snow arriving right there. Your seven day outlook is just going to be chilly over the next seven days, including some of the coldest weather as we're rolling into 2018. A high of just 15 for the first day of January.